What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Hey, y'all. Well, I am headed out. I'm off today. So, for those of y'all who don't know, um, I've been dealing with some health challenges. And um, I decided to take um, some time off from work because I knew that I was going to be running back and forth to the doctor and getting tests done and a bunch of other stuff. So um, I went in a couple days ago and I saw one of the specialists for the first time. Um, and I was really hoping that I wasn't going to have to have this test done, but he wants to do it anyway. And this test, it's actually two tests. He's doing two different tests at the same time and I have to be sedated so the hubby's going to have to take off to go with me so that I can get this test done because he's going to have to drive home today I'm actually headed out because um, we are in the middle of, of a pandemic and you know with any thing to do with doctors and hospitals and all that kind of stuff now you have to actually get pre-tested for COVID. I am thoroughly vaccinated. I do understand that that means I'm not 100% protected. But even though I have the documentation of my vaccination and I've been getting scanned, you know, because we have to get, we still have to get scanned when we come in to work. <coughs> um, they still want me to get a COVID test because I have to have this procedure in a couple of days so um i'm headed in now and it sucks because i have to actually have the covid test where i'm gonna have this procedure and i'm having the procedure close to my job and y'all know i just recently bought a house um it's almost two years now and I, I live an hour from work so when I went to the doctor I had to drive an hour there see the doctor and drive an hour back I literally was gone from home for about six hours so today I have to drive an hour have them do the COVID test and then turn around and drive an hour all the way back home and I'm like y'all couldn't do this test anywhere because I have you know a, a facility um close to my house i mean literally like maybe 10 minutes away and so they were like no you have to actually come into this office and you know if you don't get the covid test done they're going to cancel your procedure and i'm like oh. so it kind of feels like you know i've been driving to work every day which sucks so but I know I'm, I'm going to stop complaining because I know all of this is going to um, put me in a position for me to know exactly, you know, what's going on. Because right now they see the symptoms and they see, you know, they see the end result of something, but they don't know what the cause is. And so that's what they're exploring now is like what caused these things to happen. The second thing is that um, he, the doctor, the specialist, I have arthritis in several, you know, areas in my body, and the specialist took me off of my prescription pain medication, and I wasn't on anything that knocks me out, or you know, it's, I wasn't on any like narcotic type medication I, I was on the, it was although I have to get it from a pharmacy like I have to actually it's prescribed it's prescribed because um, the over-the-counter is not strong enough so I was taking the prescription medication in conjunction with um, Tylenol has an arthritis brand which has different medications it's not just a, a acetaminophen there's some additional medicines in there that helps with people who have arthritis. So I have to take those two together in order for me to actually be mobile. 
so if I say for example forget to take my pain well yeah my pain medicine because that's what I'm specifically talking about um, by day two of not taking my medicine I literally cannot I, I can hardly walk forget about stairs I'm talking about to, from my bedroom to my kitchen is, is a major chore because I'm in so much pain well when I went to see him he was like you can't keep taking this medicine he was like how long you been on this and I've been on this medicine for years and he was like oh my goodness he was like no we have to stop this medicine and I said if we stop this medicine I'm not going to be able to walk so what he did is he increased the Tylenol arthritis which I already know that that's not going to work because my PCP a while back tried to we did like a I think maybe a two week period of me only taking the Tylenol I couldn't sleep I could barely um, function because the, the, I was I was always at a 10 with the pain and we're talking arthritis in my hips it's in my back it's in my feet it's in my I mean it's it's in the areas that help me move around you know so he, he insisted that you know he increased the Tylenol he's saying that you know, I can take, you know, two extra Tylenol a day, and I'm like, oh my God. So, I went ahead, and today is day two, like a full, because normally I take my prescription medication in the morning after I eat breakfast, and then I take one at night before I go to bed to help me, you know, be good through the night. And so, last night was the second like the second full day and night that I haven't taken my prescription pain medicine and y'all when I tell you I was at a 10 before I went to sleep the amount of pain I'm in right now it goes from this part of my neck all the way down to right where my buttocks like right in that dip in your back right where your buttocks start and fortunately I don't have pain in my like my actual hip joint area um, and my feet are not hurting it's just from here like my entire torso from my neck all the way down it, it, the pain is so bad and I mean, sometimes I have to make sure that I remind myself that like if I turn my head or something, I can't turn my head real fast because it literally feels like if I do that, like it, it's going to pull something. So I'm going to try to break up the, um, the dosage, the, the doses for the Tylenol. I'm going to try to space it out. And I haven't taken my first dose yet because I have to eat breakfast. And because of the fact that I got to go in and have this COVID test, I have to do it before 11 o'clock. And I'm like, I'm not trying to be rushing out here to have this test. So I allow myself to wake up, have my coffee. I'm driving out here now. Of course, keep in mind, I got an hour to go. And um, I'm going to have the COVID test. I'm going to grab me some breakfast. And I'm going to take my first um I'm going to take my medicine with my first dose of the Tylenol. I'm going to space it out, but I'm really hoping that by the time I need to take the second dose of Tylenol, I'm not in pain. That's the only thing I can think to do. Because I'm going to tell you now, if I'm hurting the way I'm hurting tonight, by the time I get ready to go to bed, I have to take my medicine. Because I cannot have another night like I had last night. I mean, I literally, I tossed and turned all night long. And I have one of those, because I just bought a brand new um, bed. And it has the, the twin XL mattresses, the separate sides where you can adjust, you know, the feet and the head. And I, I had to get something like that because both my husband and myself, you know, we have, um, we have issues with, you know, sleeping. He snores and all that stuff. And that's part of the problem. But... Uh, for me, it's, you know, positioning my body just right so I can rest. I don't care how I, uh, 
adjusted the mattress. I had the head up, the feet down, the feet up, the head down, both head and feet up, both head and feet down. I don't care how I put it, I could not get comfortable because I was hurting so bad. And I'm just like, Jesus, what? Oh my goodness. It just, oh. So y'all, you know, just be praying with me that, you know, I can, you know, figure something out because on top of why I got to go to the doctor, now I'm starting to deal with pain. And he's like, when he first told me about not taking that medicine, he is like, well, we're going to have to talk to somebody because um, you can't be taking this. And I'm like, so I'm assuming that he's probably going to want me to see like a pain management doctor or, you know, somebody who can recommend something that, you know, can manage my pain. Because this is not, you know, it's not like I had an injury and, you know, I need pain medicine until I heal or whatever. This is a permanent situation you know so and i'm not a baby i i i i have had to have uh procedures where the anesthesiologist kept waking me up because whatever he was doing wasn't knocking me out <laughs> so i'm just i got one of them bodies that i have a high tolerance for pain so when i say i'm at a 10 i the average person that don't really have a high tolerance for pain wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to um handle this and so, you know, I know I'm a trooper and all that, but, you know, enough is enough. I'm just like, Jesus, I cannot, I can't function like this because I have to be able to get up and get dressed. I have to be able to bathe myself. I have to be able to go to work. And if I'm hurting like this, I don't know how that's going to happen. Not hurting like this every day. It's, it's I'm not going to be able to do anything. Not without crying. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to check in. Yes, do all that venting and complaining. <laughs> yes. But I know y'all haven't seen me, so I, I wanted to start trying to post, you know, post something. Um, and as y'all saw, you know, I'm launching my bath and body line. Well, my, my daughter calls it personal care line, the personal care line soon. I'm so excited. I don't have any specific um fragrances at this time that are you know for men but you know some men like the eucalyptus since you know you don't necessarily have to be uh, a female to like a uh, soft scents. i am working on something um and i'm using my husband as a test subject so um i'll be blending up some samples and stuff and as people order um i'll be sending like samples of the stuff that I'm working on as a gift to say thank you and also to let you know like what's coming down the wire right now um, I am only launching with bath salts, uh, body butter lotion, body spray and body wash but eventually um, we will be putting out soap and candles soap candles and I think we decided to do soap candles and aloe gel I know but I think we decided to do some type of scrub whether it's a lip scrub or body scrub I can't remember but anyway you know once once we get this um the first launch out and and you know get everybody familiar with the products and stuff like that <clears throat> you know we're, we're gonna come with some additional scents because we do have one that we were gonna launch with and it, I replaced it with um one of the ones that we're actually releasing because I couldn't get the balance the way I wanted to and I just did not want to launch something that I wasn't happy with. So once I figure out how to get that other note that I'm looking for to come through as strong as I needed to then we will uh, include that you know we'll be coming out we'll be coming out with um, that scent. So we're gonna come out with additional scent, additional uh, scents as well as additional products, and so y'all be on the lookout for that. And so the good thing about it is, whatever products we come out with, they'll be coming out in the same uh, scent as what we've already launched. So, say for example, the aloe gel, the candles, the soap. You know, 
they'll right now because we have four uh scents they'll they'll be the same scent as as what we are already releasing um and then when we come out with more scents obviously we'll create those products in those scents so i'm excited um i still have my journals um our hour um i don't know if it's really a slogan but it's it's something that i i guess maybe a tagline or something um that will represent the brand is um be well be great be you and so on the front of the journal it's a black journal y'all seen it i've given several away when i was doing my live streams um it will have be well be great be you and you you can get it in uh rose gold you can get it in silver or you can get it in gold and so those will be posted um in the store as well um eventually depending because everybody and their mama doing t-shirts and mugs and i didn't want to be like everybody else but eventually that is what you know we want to uh consider is you know doing some type of merch where you can you know represent the brand uh, because you know although you can tell somebody like what you're what you're wearing like what scent you're wearing you know having a t-shirt or keychain you know something like that with the brand on it uh, is more obvious so um, just keep your eye out as we expand I don't want to get into too much because you know there are there will be times when I have to actually you know fill orders and do stuff myself like literally by myself so I don't want to you know be doing so much that I can't I can't keep up but I look forward to y'all um, supporting uh, e Monet Essentials and TH Green and Company. Don't worry, DFC. We ain't going nowhere, baby. She's just getting everything together uh, because we will be coming back with a um, for DFC. It, it DFC is it took on a life of its own, and it will be out there in uh, the YouTube streets, as they call it. Um, as a platform or group or entity that mentors and help other people bring their YouTube channel and what they're trying to um, represent um, into an actual brand status. So I have several people who will be working with me. Um, I love my, my YouTube brothers. Y'all forgive the camera for shaking because I am on the road. Um, I love my YouTube brothers. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Wayne. Um, my YouTube sister. What's up, Queen? I can't wait to come to the wedding. Um, and, you know, we have some very talented individuals and they've been grinding, like, for real, for real, while I've been over here doctoring on myself. So, anyway, I think, um, that's pretty much, you know, what's been going on and, um, continue to update and you know check in and stuff and I you know I really really appreciate everyone who decided to continue with their membership even though I wasn't posting content I do understand that you know it's very important to live up to what you said you are going to do I am not the kind of person that uh, talks a good game but then you know don't hold up my hand uh, that's not who I am if it had not been for physical challenges and um, the stress and fatigue of dealing with all of that I would have still been going strong uh, I will be coming back live um, there will be some opportunities for you to, to really get familiar with everything that my platform has to offer um, and I hope that as we grow as a brand and as we as I grow as a person that you all will grow with me so I'm excited but that's gonna do it for me y'all I am just checking in headed out to get this COVID test uh, come back to the house I got some you know things that I need to work on um, for the business I'm glad I have these days because uh, I did quite a bit yesterday I'm glad I have these days where I can actually focus on nothing but uh, you know my grand work so anyway
anyway, love yourself. Love somebody else.